Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another video for the Diecast F1 review and here today I shall be looking at the Prost AP04 Acer from the 2001 Formula 1 season made by Mini Champs and in 118th scale. Now a quick rundown of the car's performance throughout the season it had four points scored throughout the season all by Jean Alesi in the number one car or the number one of the team um, also five drivers took the seat throughout the season Origin originally for uh, Jean Alesi and Gaston Mazzucani at the beginning of the year and then Gaston Mazzucani was uh, dropped and replaced by Luciano Berti uh, Luciano Berti proceeded to destroy three cars throughout the season or well, two maybe, I think it was two I think he destroyed one in Monaco as well, but I'm not sure um, one spectacular crash at the German Grand Prix where he ran, ran into the back of a, s a slow starting Michael Schumacher and also again another spectacular crash at the Belgian Grand Prix after a, a bit of contact with uh, Irvine, sent him into the uh, outside wall at Blanchemont, and he pretty much ended his Formula 1 career, and pretty much ended Prost Grand Prix's career as well. But anyway, uh, not much else to say about the car <laughs> in its real form. It was an improvement over its previous years, over the previous year's runner. Um, the previous year, in 2000, the car was powered by the Peugeot engine. Another beautiful looking car, but uh, was a bag of shit to be honest. <laughs> Scored no points throughout the year, and uh, the team ended up well, last in the championship. Also, with lots of lots of uh, damaged parts as well, damaged cars, with both drivers running in, running into each other a number of times. But I'll get to a review of the 2000 car later. But as we're today, we're reviewing the 2001 car. Now, of course, in a Mini Champs box made by Mini Champs, of course, it says at the bottom there, also on the top, but you can't see that. Label on the side says, of course, Mini Champs. If I can lift this up, I'm only using one hand at the moment, but it says Prost Acer AP04 Alberti. Now I'm not sure if they made, uh, I know they made a Lacey version and of course the Berti version. I'm not sure they made a Mazzucani version. Um, I know they put Mazzucani in the show car, which is basically the 2000 car painted in this livery. Uh, but I'm not sure they made the Mazzucani for the AP04. And also, I'm not sure if they made the Frentzen and Thomas Enger versions, but I know there's two versions of this available, Alessi and Bertie. But I'll worry about that another day. Now, of course, it's in a mini chance box. I shall unbox it. And, of course, I'm only using one hand, so um, I'll tell you what, I'll do a jump cut and come back once I uh, take it out of the box and unscrew it from the base. So, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now, the car removed from the base in the box. And I have to say, it is a very beautiful representation of the Prost, of the Prost EP04. Love the paintwork, although my shadow keeps getting in the way of it. The camera, I don't think, really shows it off all that well. And my thing, ha hands get in the way. But uh, if I just zoom, I'll try and zoom in a bit actually. Just dropped it. Uh, yeah, you can't really get a good view. The light is a bit funny. I've got the sun behind me, or the, the window behind me. And the light is a bit funny, but uh, overall it's not too bad. Now, now, to tell you the truth, I only got this car this morning. It arrived in the post this morning, and I've been after one of these for a very long time. They don't come up very often. The only ones I see usually are the show cars, which, like I said, are this, is the 2000 car painted in this livery. Show cars are all right, but uh, they're not great. I will get onto the the, uh, the issue of show cars later on, or my opinion of show cars, in a later video. I will do some comparisons between the proper car and the show car, and. Uh, whether it's this one or another one, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. I, have, I do have a few show cars in the pile behind me, but uh, I'll get onto them in another day. Now onto the model itself. Like I said, 118th scale, very nice blue paint. The front suspension is a bit loose though. That's not a, not an issue though. Like I said, I got it this morning. It's the first time out of the box, and I think it's the first time ever it's been out of the box because the screws would not undo. Also, there's no dust on the uh, car either, so let's have a quick swivel round. Very nice representation. Love the uh, the exhaust on the rear. Just zoom in there. So they actually got exhaust pipes inside there, whereas some some companies or some models just use uh, very simple pieces to to uh, assemble the uh, exhausts. Also got a little bit of a some nice detailing on the rear deflectors there. Also look through the through the rear wing down to the diffuser. I just love the shape, the flow of the uh, the car itself. Look at the bodywork there, the way it comes around the the uh, from the back of the cockpit down to the back of the engine cover. The way it just swoops inwards. It's a little, 
I mean, like that. You don't see that on modern cars. The cars today are too curvy and things. You get you tend to focus more on the uh, side pods nowadays. But the uh, the detail around the uh, back of the driver is really nice. And I just <coughs> do another quick pirouette round. Also got the chimneys on the side here. Material wise, it is all metal, of course, except for the front and rear wings, and also the the uh, air box on the front or the air box above the driver's head is plastic. But back from that, it's metal with the T-cam attached to the top. Sponsor decals are nicely applied as well. That one, that one on the side is a bit rough, but not a big issue. They're not, they're not like they're going to fall apart any given opportunity or any time soon. Barge boards, plastic as well, but are very well held on. They're not very flimsy like on some of the models. And the front suspension is a bit loose, but it's a turner. You sort of hear the clunking out a bit. Feels a bit cheap, but uh, not a big issue. If it's going to be sat in your, ca in your cabinet, you're not going to be uh, playing with it. Are you? So look around again. For the decal to zoom in on the uh, PSN there. One of the few sponsors that Prost had that year. PSN. That one in the red. The Prost. Grand Prix team. You can usually tell a team's in financial trouble when they put their logo on the car, especially in a big space like that. You usually see it with HRT and Sauber and things, but uh, not a big issue there. And of course the driver's helmet. I'm not big on the detailing of driver's helmets. I tend to spend most most uh, focus on the car, but some people do get a bit funny when the, uh, the driver's helmet's not right, but uh, this looks okay to me. The visor's brown for some reason, but I think it's grey, it's just the uh, camera's a bit iffy. Of course the steering wheel works there. And the wing mirrors are attached nicely as well, they're solid on there. Got the uh, dark dog and, and the Bertie sign on the side there. Although I think... No, it, no, it hasn't rubbed off, I thought uh, a letter was missing, but that's fine. On the bottom of the car, a very nice... Uh, hang on, to zoom out, a nice carbon fiber effect to the bottom of the car which you don't see on many mini chance models it's sort of uh, embossed detail you can sort of see its uh, lines all along it's got the mini chance logo there Prost Acer APO4 2001 and also the screw holes as well also a funny circle as well I think that's where it was attached to the base it's uh, worn off a bit we've got the under the nose very nicely done as well and price wise I didn't pay a huge amount of money for this car I paid £35 for this car I'm not sure what that is in dollars and euros but uh, I thought that was quite cheap we tend to see these things at buy it nows for about £70, £80 pounds, but of course they're usually the shops that sell them you know the uh, eBay shops that sell them of course they're not going to sell are they you see them relisted every week and uh, yeah they're not going to sell them anytime soon so if you, these ones are quite this specific car is quite rare so Pick one up when you can. Of course, it's a great looking car. Compare it to any other Prost, it's, a, it's probably the best looking one colour wise because the blue is much better than uh, all the other Prost. I've got a Prost behind me, I'll just pick that one up. Although you can't really see it very well because it's in a box. It's a different shade of blue. Of course, this is the 98 car, although it's listed as a show car. It's the 98 car and it's a different shade of blue. I, mean, I can't be bothered to get it out of the box to uh, compare it, but there's a different shade of blue. Can't really tell though, but uh, the 2001 car wins that one hands down, I think. Very nice car it is as well. It's just a shame that the Prost team didn't survive beyond 2001. <coughs> Pardon me. I think for 2002 they were going to have an orange based livery. I think it was for, um, is it Respol or something like that? It's a Spanish, I think it's Spanish uh, fuel company. It's going to be primarily orange and white. With a bit of blue remaining, but uh, I think that's just uh, fan-made renders. I can't confirm that one. Um, yeah, very nice car as well. It's just a shame, like I said, a shame that the team didn't survive any further. But it was the beginning of uh, the downturn in Formula One, really, because you lost the Prost team in 2001, uh, and then you lost the Arrows team in 2002. And then we went through a phase of just 20 cars up until 2006, basically, with the Super Aguri team joining. But it was a sort of uh, a turmoil, or a, a bit of a, I don't say, what, 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 what would you call it? Not turmoil, is it? It's just sort of a, a downturn in Formula One constructors. Of course, Ferrari were uh, dominating everything, and everyone else has just left to pick up the pieces of 
third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. But yeah, it's just a tragedy, really. The last of the or the last French team in Formula One <laughs> was originally the Ligier team. But never mind. And I'm in the way again. Shadow. I keep moving the camera as well. I do apologise. But yeah, I do recommend getting hold of this model if you can. If you're a real collector of Formula One models, get hold of this one. It is a real cracker. Even if you don't get it in 118, get it in 143. I'm pretty sure there's a few hundred different versions of it in 18 in 143rd scale. <laughs> but I'm a 118th scale collector. And yeah, I would recommend this car. The Prost AP04 Acer with a Ferrari engine. They renamed it Acer for some reason. But yeah, really nice looking car. And uh, I would recommend it. Uh, I, I will do some research to see if there were other versions. I know that there was the Yalesi version as well, but I'm not sure if the Mazakani Enger and French versions were made. Um, there are probably a few um, kit bashers versions where people have uh, made them themselves. Just modified this model, but I will look around. But anyway, that's my opinion of this car. That is uh, my rundown of it all. And. Uh, I shall be disappearing now, so this is Rich signing off and disappearing, and I shall return for another review. The next one's going to be a Ferrari. Yep, and I shall be back for that soon. So I might do it in a minute, actually, but uh, I'll be back for that shortly. So uh, I shall be back later, so bye for now.